Okay, welcome to this product uh, demonstration video where we're just going to run you through the differences and options that you've got for testing ketone levels in body fluids. Now, traditionally there have been two quite distinct different sets of tests for doing blood ketones and urine ketones. And the uses of these uh, test kits have been divided quite uh, easily between the two different indicators. Most blood ketones have been done by diabetic patients who are insulin dependent and whose uh, sugar control is brittle with the development of high sugar levels and ketones forming in the blood, which is an indicator of poor control and uh, that their insulin regime needs addressing. Now compared to this, the urine ketone tests, now we're showing you here on the left, this is a, a typical vial. This actually isn't a single ketone test that we've got here for demonstration purposes but a 5K uh, protein test strip includes blood, pH, protein, ketones and glucose on a single dip test. Now these dip tests have the advantage that no blood has to be taken, no finger pricking. They uh, can just be dipped in a, a urine sample and read it between 30 seconds and two minutes. But of course the, the indicator for ketones being present is quite delayed because you're looking at a concentrated or diluted uh, response in the urine which doesn't give you a direct indicator of what's going on in the blood at that current time. But for dietary causes for testing where you're just looking to see if you have restricted your carbohydrates to a degree where you're burning body fat and as a consequence producing ketones which then leach out through into the urine. Uh, for Atkins diet and dietary restrictions where you're trying to put yourself into an acute ketosis these are perfectly adequate and there is no real indicator why you would want to know the exact level of ketones in your blood. Now further to the point, when you look up and try and Google it, what is a normal blood ketone level, you'll see that a normal range for a healthy individual is somewhere between 0 and 0.6. Now because the, the body will constantly adjust what, what it's burning for fuel, the majority of the time in people in the Western world where they are consuming uh, excess amounts of carbohydrates, then very little fat is being burnt on a 24-hour session. And during that period, the blood ketone levels would, on detection using one of these GK meters, be zero. When you then start dieting, after a period of time, once your carbs have been exhausted, your body will switch to burning uh, fat as a source of energy and as a consequence the ketone levels will start increasing in your blood and be detectable. Now in diet the ketone levels in blood will very rarely exceed the 0.6 level within the normal range. They will become detectable but it will vary considerably from test to test depending on what's being metabolized at that time and what's being taken out by the liver. So there won't be any consistent level or pattern that you're likely to detect unless you do quite a rapid series of blood tests using the ketone test strips. And just to put that into context of how expensive that is likely to be, the meters to purchase are around £30 and they should go on lasting for indefinitely basically. But the test strips which have to be purchased separately and don't come with the actual meter when you buy the starter pack, you're looking at around the £20 mark for a pack of 10 strips. So per test is going to cost you around two pounds and compare that to the cost of a hundred strip pack of ketone tests which will be around five pounds you're looking at two pounds for a blood level 5p for a urine level so if you're a straight dieter that's looking to see if your diet's working and you're in ketosis our advice economically is obviously go for the urine test every time you're not getting any additional useful information when you're just doing it for dietary by doing the, the blood level. It's interesting, more expensive if you've got the money to burn, then fine, the blood ketone level will indicate when you are actually generating ketones and to what level. But it won't give you any information about the ketotic burn or rate of burn that you're getting that's of any use to you because it is such a dynamic thing. So far better to stick with the uh, urine ketones for that. If you're diabetic and need to know the level of ketones so you can seriously look at your uh, healthcare requirements and insulin requirements, then obviously the, the peak blood levels that you're, you're getting to 
are far more relevant and important. And that's where the, the dual GK meters that do both glucose levels and ketone levels using different test strips will be of critical importance to you. And in that situation, this is uh, an ideal blood glucose and ketone combined meter for uh, diabetic patients. Both of these kits are available through the ValueMed website.